I know I've already produced quite a bit of content today uh, with that last video, but I want to talk real quick about Babes in Christ because there is such thing as a babe in Christ, obviously, that can not handle the meat, but handles the milk of the word. But the milk and the meat are not two different things. The milk is the introduction to the truth that assure of us, assure us of our salvation. And the meat is the establishment and full confirmation of those truths that bring, bring us into confidence and boldness and usefulness. It's the same truth. The milk and the meat are the same thing, except the milk is the introduction to it and the meat is confirming what you were introduced to from everywhere in scripture. So it's the only thing you see where you learn that Christ is really everything. Um, and you learn more and more and more about what he's accomplished for you in his death and resurrection. Now, because we say babes, okay, and we know that we need to be converted to become like babes to enter the kingdom, like children, that is referring to dependence on ourselves versus dependence on Christ. We become, we are converted, we become more and more like children by being converted to be weaned off our natural strength and onto Christ, learning how to depend on him for everything. But here's the problem in Christianity, and I, I, it really comes from pastors. Babes in their mind means I'm really sophisticated and can understand things because I'm smart. And babes are stupid and can't understand anything. And that's why pastors, in the name of taking care of babes, and not stumbling babes, talk to everybody like they're 12 years old. I mean, that's one of the things I could never take about the institutional churches, is all the pastors had this sing-song, Pied Piper way of talking, and they talked down to me, assuming I couldn't understand anything and tried to make things so simple that I would never grow or understand anything in, in its full depth. <laughs> they actually took the key of knowledge. I'm not talking about every pastor. I'm just talking about the pastoral system. Um, now, some people have said, well, this is really complex, therefore should not be introduced to babes. Well, that's like locking up the Bible and saying you can't you can't read the Bible. I'll tell you what to read. You know, you you can't understand this. And yet I've got plenty of people on my wall who admitted they, who consider themselves babe in Christ, new to the study of scriptures, and yet they're tracking 100% with all of this. And they're able to articulate it. And they can see how freed they're getting in their minds and how intimate Christ is becoming and how confident and how quickly they're growing. Why are they growing quickly? Because they, they are getting both the milk and the meat of the word. They're being introduced to the truth that secures their confidence in Christ. And then they're being established in it. And it's because I'm not talking to you like you're a 12 year old who can't understand anything and stripping everything of its content to distill it to the lowest common denominator. No, I'm just giving out the truth. Um, now, yes, my channel is mainly for people who have an understanding of the word, but it's also for those who don't, who want to get understanding of the word. <laughs> you are what you eat. If the food is not presented to you, you're never going to eat it. And, you know, unfortunately, we've got this idea that a babe in Christ means someone intellectually inferior who can't understand things. No. Um, well, Paul did talk about how there is, uh, I could only talk to you as babes. But it's because of their carnality. It wasn't because of their intellect. It's because of their carnality. They refused to embrace truths concerning their death with Christ and their resurrection with him and that they're hidden in him and that their spirituality is something of manifesting Christ. And instead, we're looking totally outward at the things of man and judging according to the flesh 
and measuring each other according to their gifts. And that comes from not being converted to be like a child, but thinking you're an adult, thinking that you can handle it, thinking that you're capable. So the root is not intellectual, it's what is your confidence in? If you are confident in the self and its righteousness and its in the flesh as, a, as your source of spirituality, then you're going to be veiled when it comes to the things of Christ. And you need to be converted to become like a little child, not meaning that you're stupid, but that you are completely dependent on him and simple, and you only look to him to be the source of everything. And so that's, on the one hand, maturity, but on the other hand, it's being converted to be like a little child. Okay, and a little child can handle milk and meat because maturity in the kingdom is to be like a child. That doesn't mean that I strip all words of meaning and don't explain anything <laughs> because you're too dumb to handle it because you're a babe. It means that you are increasingly grasping that Christ has to be everything and you don't depend on yourself. Uh, and that's really... The milk is to bring you to that point, and the meat is to establish you in it. Okay, thanks.